Hey guys, Tattoo For You Richard here, and it is a beautiful Monday morning, about 10 o'clock, here in sunny, weird weathered Texas. Um, time for an update video, as well as the answers to the questions, the Q&A video as well. I kind of like combine the two because it works that way. Um, as far as updates, I have primed this guy. Let's show you his front, not his back. Primed him. And this is a forward-facing camera, so it is not focusing. Focus. Whatever. You get the drift. Cadre Fireblade has been primed. Primed this, but I'm not going to paint it yet. I primed it anyway, because I still want to figure out the railing. I think I have an idea using plastic soda bottles. Uh, what else did I do? What else did I do? What else did I do? Well, you saw the video already, but the board for my base, I did do a little scribbling on it, so, but pay no attention to the scribbles. I'll explain all that when I do a video tomorrow, when it starts, when it officially starts. So yeah, uh, terrain squared circle, threw up the intro video this weekend, um, did a bunch of eBay stuff. Didn't do a lot of painting. Oh, yes I did. I take that back. Hive Tyrant is done. I still need to add the little frosty details with the snow and stuff. And uh, icicles. Because it's ice nids. You got to add icicles. So, yeah. That's where I'm at. I'm going to be painting here in a little while. Work on the fire blade, some fire warriors, and a crap ton of support weapons. Burst cannons, flamers, plasma guns. <sighs> so much. Fusion cannons, fusion blasters. Just so many to paint. Yeah. I ordered my Forge World last week. I believe last week or week before last. I don't know. Anyway, I ordered it and it says it's going to be here tomorrow. What? Yes. So expect an unboxing video. Yeah. I like my hair. Woo. Yeah. Totally dorked out on that one. Yes. Well, anyway, on to the questions. Victor Quase. Qu Quase? Sorry, dude. I apologize. Butcher that one. Neo Jarlax, in parentheses. Um, dude, I love your painting. Awesome job, buddy. You got some killer stuff, man. Really nice. Uh, good one, mate. Here's my question. Do you paint to play, or do you play to use your painted miniatures? <laughs> I, I paint for fun. I enjoy painting. Um, if it came down to it, I I haven't I don't I don't play right now. I don't have anybody to play with here. I don't get out. Can't get out that much. Um, so I, when I did play, we would I would use whatever. If it wasn't painted yet, we I would play with it as long as it was built and ready to go. I would play with it. Um. Use your painted miniatures. Yeah, I wouldn't just strictly throw something together, like throw paint on something to throw it on the board to show it off. Um, I want to take my somewhat of a time with it, my time with it because I, I enjoy the painting process. So, so yeah, I hope that I hope that works out. That 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 question kind of yeah, I'm leaving that in there too. Um, I hope that answers your question well enough. If you can kind of understand where I'm coming from. I need to shave my mustache. I'm looking hideous. Heresy Productions. Nice one. As a fellow Marvel fan, you look. have you looked into the new Marvel Universe miniature game by Night Models? I did after I read this question. I've seen the DC figures. They look amazing. I don't know anything about the game. I still don't. Um, but I looked at the Marvel figures and what? Those are sick. Um, yeah, I might get some, uh, just, just because, 
I'll look into the game too, of course. But um, yeah, they look awesome. And Spider Man is my all time favorite superhero, followed by Hulk. Oh yeah. Um, I'll have to get Iron Man because my five year old will marry wants to marry Iron Man, so Iron Man will definitely be here because he's cool too. Uh, Nick over at Itic Beer. Okay, time for some classic Q and A questions. Favorite pizza topping: tea or coffee? Color lightsaber. Favorite time of day? Um, one of these questions in here is kind of an interesting question. Um, I'll answer it honestly and explain it a little bit too. But then that's the last time I'll talk about it. Uh, favorite pizza topping? Yeah, I, pepperoni, man, classic. Gotta go pepperoni. Um, back when I used to drink a greasy pepperoni pizza the next day, a cure for a hangover, dude. The greasier, the better. Just, you feel like you're gonna throw up, down two slices of that in your gravy. Um, but I don't condone drinking. Uh, tea or coffee? That's the question. That's the weird one. I, I never liked coffee. In the first place, Texas tea is always sweet. I hate sweet tea. So when I did, I would drink tea. But I mean, I... It's a two-part answer. I quit drinking caffeine. Any Pretty much anything caffeine related. Except for water. Except caffeine doesn't have water. That's not what I meant. I quit drinking caffeine. I usually... I pretty much only drink water. Um, I drink... Sometimes I'll take a little sip of Sprite or juice. I'll drink orange juice, um, apple juice, whatever, but in moderation, but water is the go-to for me. Um, tea and coffee too. I'm Mormon. (laughs) Surprise. (laughs) Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm a newly converted Mormon. And one of the things in the faith is one of the words of wisdom. It's about living a healthier lifestyle and stuff like that. Uh, not drinking teas or coffees and stuff like that. Uh, it's just part of the faith. It's another thing. It's really easy for me to follow because I don't drink the stuff anyway. Um, yeah, that's it. And that's the last time you hear about me talking about a Mormon. Because I'm not one of those ones. Yep. I'm one of the cool ones with tattoos. Uh, what color lightsaber? Oh, man. That that's a hard choice. There there's an ultimate answer, yeah. But out of the out of the main ones, I really like the blue ones, and then red is always cool too. But I'd have to go off the video game, and I can't remember the name of it right now. But a black lightsaber, that was sick, sick. I'll say it again. It was sick. Yeah, that would be the one I'd I'd rock a black lightsaber. <laughs> Favorite time of day, um, now is cool because the kids are off at school and I get a little quiet time to do things, make videos, can focus on painting without being harassed a little bit, um, but ultimately I'd have to say around 7 o'clock because everybody's home, my wife, my kids, we're all home, we're sometimes yelling at each other, but we're all home as a family and that, that ultimately is my favorite time of day, I've been, I've I'm super family oriented. I love family. Um, but yeah, those are my questions. Enjoy the answers. Uh, well, that's not all the questions. Sorry. Mini War Zone. I really enjoyed this Q and A. Great stuff. Okay, question time, dude. You're awesome. By the way, you're a rocking guy. All, all, everyone on here is. <laughs> Imagine just for one minute the Tyranids, the Tyranids, I can't even say their name right. The Tyranids have landed and they are eating up the world and it's fight or fall time. Which single character from the 40k universe, my screen went black, would you like to have on your team to help the epic fight? Oh, and why that particular one? Oh. I have two choices. I'll give... Uh, Vulcan, salamanders are cool, really like them. Vulcan, he's a Primarch. Both my answers are Primarchs, by the way. Vulcan's a Primarch, and they come heavy with flamers, so 
you know that that would be an awesome that that's a possible choice. But Lehman Russ is the ultimate choice because he is a Viking space warrior. Need I say more? He is an epic, fierce man. He will rally you with blood dripping from your body to fight off the hordes, even if he knows you're going to die, and you know you're going to die. You will hold your chainsword in your hand and your bolter in your other hand, and you will kill as many of those bugs as you can because Russ has commanded it. Yeah, that's my answer. I hope that works. Nerdopolis Prime! He's awesome. Love his channel. Uh, Haha, those were epic, epic answers, mate. And here's the next one. You seem to concentrate on 40k. Do you play other systems or maybe even something non-sci-fi related? Cheers, your epic buddy from Austria. Uh, ooh, 40k... I started out in my nerd life adventure with comic books and stuff from my parents and drawing. First game I ever played role play wise was Rifts. Um, Palladium Universe, if you, if you know it, it's it's fun. It's a it's still a post apocalyptic sci fi game. Super fun. I loved it. It was what got me into the the dice rolling nerddom. Um, we quit playing. It was, I played that in high school. We quit playing. Um, years and years later, just drew. Worked at a comic book store, got into 40K, and it just, I don't, it was something about the models back then and just all the fun. I just really got addicted to it. Uh, right now, I, I, well, I did play Hero Quest, non sci fi related. It's still another Games Workshop game, but it was also called, yeah, it was called Hero Quest when in the Milton Bradley box, done with miniatures by Games Workshop, it said. But then I guess here then Hero Quest came out or Warhammer Quest came out. Um love that game. I played D&D, uh I'm not I haven't played anything in a really long time. Uh do I have X-Wing, Star Wars X-Wing over here. Um A Age of Sigmar, I am very interested in it. Um I don't know like how, I say very, but am I willing to go throw lots of money at it right now? No. Um, but no, I, I really would like to learn it and play it. Um, the, I like the fact that the rules are free. Um, War Scrolls are free. A lot of stuff is free about the game. That's very appealing. Um, it's the models. I'd have to get the models. And I'm wanting, I've been contemplating Beastmen or Skaven. So... Yeah, I hope that answers your question, man. I, I, I like it all. Uh, fantasy is where I grew up. My my mom and dad, they both uh, fantasy out the wazoo, you know. My mom collects swords, so, like, prop swords and stuff. So, I grew up with Tolkien, The Hobbit, and all that stuff around the house all the time. So, I mean, I do like fantasy. I really do. Um, so, I'm, I'm just a nerd. I'm a nerd all the way around, so... I hope it, I hope that helps. I hope that answers it. Um, Immortal Uprising Studio. My buddy Baza. I was gonna call you Barry, but uh, cool video, fella. Great answers. Glad you like the new name. My my new question is: brush or airbrush? Which do you prefer? I have thoughts on this myself. Uh, I prefer both, man. I'm I'm not one of those. Paintbrush only, airbrushes loser. Airbrush rocks, paintbrush stupid. No, I like them both, man. I think they're both good tools to throw in your arsenal. They both up your game. Uh, well, paintbrushes, obviously, you know what I mean? That's that's your starting. You throw an airbrush in the mix, you've upped your level. You've upped your game a bit. You can do tons of stuff with a paintbrush that you can do with an airbrush. Um, I mean, take Nick. Nick, his stuff is clean, dude. You look at some of the fades he throws on things with just a paintbrush, you would think he uses an airbrush. An airbrush just makes it easier. It, it helps you out in spots. Um, you got cats like uh, the Next Level Painting Guy and then uh, Orc Painter Nerd who airbrushes a lot. 
on their stuff. It's it's a super clean cut model. They look nice. They're both they're. I suggest to anybody throw an airbrush in your in your toolbox, man. Get get one. Um, I started airbrushing at Six Flags when I was a uh, probably like sixteen years old. Airbrushing on T-shirts. Quit for a really long time. About three year old, three years ago, got another airbrush. Started messing around again, and it's it's fun, dude. It's really fun. Um, and I've just recently started throwing it into my my model game. Uh, well, you, as you saw that Eldar that I did, the the leopard print one. The video's on here. Uh, but yeah, dude, I I I think it's just a it's another tool that you can throw in your box and get get some good work out of it. I I used to I tattooed for years and I I still do every once in a while. But uh, I was a tattoo artist, professional shop. You have purists who are rotary. I mean, uh, coil machines only. Rotary machines are stupid. Neo machines are stupid. Um, dude, it's just it's another level of your work, man. Um, I use rotary machines for lines and I'll bust out, I mean, I use, uh, coil machines for lines and I'll bust out rotary machines for some of my shading because you can get a nice solid fade. Uh, I never got a chance to use any of the, the Neo, the Air machines, but it's just another, it's another tool in your box. Don't be afraid to use it. Don't be afraid to try it, man. I, I'm definitely one for throwing caution to the wind, saying screw it and giving it a go and then trying, you know, no harm in trying. So, the more you do it, the more you learn, the more you the more you grow. So, felt like a Saturday morning uh, commercial there. So yeah, that's it for the questions. Uh, I'm gonna leave everybody's who threw a question at me and everybody mentioned in the comments below. Um, hopefully, I don't forget everybody, but I usually do. I'll mess up my hair. Um, yeah, guys, that was awesome, man. Y'all, y'all are fantastically fabulous. Uh. I'm going to do another one again next Monday. This is kind of fun, you know, uh, until I stop getting questions. People are like, I don't want to know any more about you. Gosh. <laughs> then I'm going to keep it rocking. Um, so I have some painting to do and some YouTube to watch. This video is 17 minutes long. I did it again. Crap. Anyway, love you guys. Talk to you later. Have fun. Peace.